Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to basically disassemble your side mirrors here. Not necessarily all the way down to the base, but we're gonna take off the mirror cap, the turn signal, and the mirror itself. And I'll split this up into a few pieces so you guys can choose what you wanna see. Uh, some people just wanna change out the, the mirrors. Some people need to change out the caps. Some wanna put some different turn signals in here and I will show you how to do all three of those things in one video. For the first and easiest part, we're going to take off the mirror and all you need is a plastic pry tool and just be gentle. And we're gonna pry underneath the sides here, underneath the sides here, underneath the back here, and we're just gonna give it a nice little pull out this way. Um, you're likely not going to break it, but again, be gentle and make sure you kind of go evenly all the way around, kind of just pry it out. I pried out the sides here and you can hear it pop out a little bit. It's just kind of like a clip that looks like a claw goes over the base and if you pry out a couple sides here. You can see it kind of pop out a little bit. I move my mirror because it's a foldable mirror. You can move it out a little bit to give yourself more room. And once it's out a little bit here, you should be able to just pop it off. And there you go. You can see the clips here, 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 and here. They just kind of wrap right around this there. So if you just pry evenly on a couple sides, one side should just pop out and then you should just be able to gently pull off the rest. And then you'll also have these connectors here. These are for the heat. Some will have another connector for the blind spot detection. And on the other side, on the driver's side, we'll have a auto dimming uh, connector as well. I don't have the blind spot detection, so I just have the heat on this side and the auto dimming on the driver's side. Uh, so all you need to do is really just pop these off with your hands. Be gentle because they are very uh, brittle after they've been in there for many years. So you don't want to put too much pressure on these. But you should just be able to pop out the connectors like that. I'll do it for this side here. And this whole, side, this whole mirror just comes right out. There you go. Mirror is out. And we're going to go do the other side. And again for this side, we're just going to stick our plastic pry tool in here. And I'll show you guys this time just kind of how it feels. You do have to push it a little bit. And you just got to make sure you get it kind of popped here on this side. So you hear a little popping sound. There you go. Oh, and the mirror just comes right off here. And here is where you have... These are the connectors for the heat. This is the connector right here for the uh, for the auto dimming. And again, you would have a connector here uh, if you had the blind spot detection. So you just disconnect all of these. This one has a little push down pin here. You just push it down and then pull it out. So I'm just gonna show you here that this little piece uh, has to be pushed in right there. Push that down. Then you can pull this right out and it comes right off and you have Mirror number two. And there you go. That's how you remove just the mirror glass. It is time to take off the mirror cap, which is this piece here. Kind of goes all the way down to about right here. So it's the painted color on my car. This bottom piece is actually part of the entire frame. We're not gonna touch, we're gonna touch that today. That's uh, if something gets broken, or I think if you wanted to do like the full M mirror, that this has an extension that comes out, um, then you would have to take this off. But for me, I'm just taking the mirror cap off, which also includes the turn signal here. So to take off the mirror cap, it's actually super simple. There's a little clip there, and a little clip right up here. Let's focus, right up there. You just have to kind of spread them open, usually just with a Phillips, and just kind of pull back on the mirror cap as you're spreading these open so it stays so they get pushed back and uh, the whole cap actually just pries right off all right so what I did was just put my uh, flathead right in here and just kind of twisted it and it spreads the, this clip up and down and at the same time with my other hand I just pulled with my fingernails or you could use your plastic pry tool and just pulled this back a little bit until this kind of seats, unseats itself and sits on top of this plastic piece so it's not fully clipped in forward. Then you do the exact same thing with this one. You do a little twist, those spread up and down, and then you stick your fingernail in here until you, and you push it back that way. So if you're looking at it this way, you're kind of 
sorry, the finger, pulling this back at the same time. And so you can see it's kind of popped off already. And really, well, more gentle than that, but since I'm doing it with one hand, I get to do it nice and messy, but you really didn't break anything if you do that. Um, and it really is just held in by some plastic clips. And be careful, there is the wire for the turn signal there. And we'll get to that in just a second. So now that you have the mirror cap off, you have one wire harness here for the turn signal. You have one T10 bolt screw bolt, whatever that is there, bolt screw T10 here. And this thing again is just held down by some clips around the side. And once you take off this harness and those two, just should be able to pop it right off. All right, now they've got the screw and the harness off. Mine just pulled right out. You may have to pinch and squeeze the harness. If you have the stock uh, turn signals, these are these aftermarket cheap dynamic turn signals from eBay or AliExpress or whatever. So they weren't held down quite as uh, securely, at least for the harness. And this piece actually just comes off by pinching this little piece here. Uh, you just kind of give it a little pull. Come on. There you go. And now this whole piece comes off all together. All right, so I did need two hands but I also forgot that this piece right here goes in. So you gotta make sure that comes out this way and pull out. And then this whole turn signal comes right out. And now we're gonna take off the cap on this side as well. And here's the new mirror cap. We got this side off as well. So now it's just reverse. Put the turn signal back in here. We put the two screws in, put the harness in, and we're gonna put the mirror cap on here. You should just clip right in. Turn signal is installed, two screws in there, pops right in. So now it's time to put the harness right back in there. It's gonna go in that clip and then we're just gonna pop it back in. You'll see that it has the two, two clips, one there, one there, and it just pops right in. All right, this side is back on, other side done as well. Just need to pop the mirror back on. In order to put the mirror back, you of course, plug everything back in. And again, you just have to line it up as, to, as long as it's center and you just give it a nice shove and it will slide right into place. Uh, I do need two hands for it because you don't want to push too hard on one side or the other because you may break a clip or the mirror. So you need two hands, one on this side, one on this side, and just kind of push it in uh, at the same time and it will pop right into place. After a quick detail uh, of the mirrors, they look very shiny and are fitted almost perfectly. There you go. That is how you remove and replace your mirror glass, how you remove and replace your turn signals in your side mirrors, as well as the side mirror uh, caps themselves.